Hey, Malico Watson, Miami property boss. Just want to say hello to everyone. I got an email the other day, it kind of um, brought me back to thinking about things here. Someone who's interested in getting into real estate and they kind of were asking, you know, how to go about getting it done and um, how to about getting started. And I'm not a coach, I'm not a trainer or nothing like that, but I know what it took me to have it done and I know that it was a little bit more difficult for me. So with that being said, maybe for others, it may be just as difficult when it comes to whether it's understanding things or knowing what to study for, knowing how to approach the exam, you know, whether or not it's a good idea for them to actually get involved in getting a real estate uh, license. And so that's a lot of things that we're going to cover. I don't want to cover it all on one video because I think what I'm going to do is probably put a series of videos together. Um, and if you email me some of your concerns that we can grow this uh, into other things and whatever you need to go to help you improve enhance uh, your career in real estate. So now I am a licensed real estate broker, Wisconsin, um, Florida. I have a practice in Miami and of course um, Fort Lauderdale and in Milwaukee. So we've been doing this for about 20 years now. Um, I got a few different partners. We probably have about 50 years combined experience in flipping, rehabbing, investing, um, building brand new construction and so it's, it's gonna be a nice journey i want to teach you what i know i want to be able to let those who really don't have an idea where to go that this will be a nice avenue for you to learn it's not for everybody it's not for the weak at hearted um you're not going to instantly make money people think that because they have a real estate license they're going to instantly make money that's far from the truth this is something you have to i don't want to say get into it gradually but if you don't have any source of income uh, it'll be a little difficult, not impossible, I ain't looking impossible, but a little difficult to break into real estate unless you have leads being fed to you when you join the major companies. And so, you know, those are things that, those will be in different shows in its own, but right now what I'm going to talk about is basically who is your typical real estate professional. I'm going to tell you about the one that's not so successful and I'm going to tell you the one that is successful and then what we'll do in the following show is we're going to figure out which direction to go into to be that in, uh, with the successful realtor or uh, in real estate professional and what it takes to be that real estate professional that's not doing so well and I know you're going to have a lot of questions and I welcome questions. I'm an email guy. You can text me, but I prefer email. And I'm going to say this. There's a lot of money to be made in real estate, but it just takes a long time. It takes time for you to cultivate your relationship. It's all about building relationships with people. And, you know, I've had this practice here for two years in Miami and I just moved on here a few months. And I see the difference in being down here and people see who you are and they get a good feel for you and you get a good connection and a good vibe or a bad connection and a bad vibe. And so it's all about relationships. Real estate is all about relationships. If you're a quiet person and you're shy and you don't like talking to people, it'll be a little bit more difficult for you um, than a person who can go up to anybody and talk. It's, it's a contact sport. What that means is that you're gonna to have to contact a lot of people to get a little bit of results. And the newer you are, the more contacts you're gonna to have to make. And so again, it's not for the weak at heart. It's not for those who are quiet. It's not for those who don't like rejection. But if you okay with all of that, then you can be on a path for a really successful um, business. Um, it's, it's not rocket science. Once you know the real estate laws, um, you pass your exam and your license, uh, you, you, know, you have more knowledge than a typical person who's gonna buy a house, lease an apartment, um, whatever that is. And so that gives you the edge when it comes to working with people who are looking to buy a house, lease a house, invest in property, um, or anything that has to do with real estate and even business 
ownership of some businesses. There's a lot to talk about people and I really want to make sure that we stop here because I'm gonna say it again. Before we go on, if you're thinking that this is gonna be easy, it's not gonna be easy. First of all, we have to get your license, okay? We're gonna get your license and to get your license, it takes time and you have to study and if you have a job, you have children, you have to make that sacrifice and you have to let your family know, look, this is what mom, dad is trying to do. We all have to work together. Um, that's just one direction there. That, that's going through getting your license. I am licensed. Um, but there are other people making just as enough, just as much money and even more who are doing something called wholesaling properties. And so getting into wholesaling properties is kind of like an, a legal way of saying, you know, practicing without a license, so to speak. Now, when you don't have a license, you're not held to a lot of the ethics that we are held as a licensed broker but someone who is not licensed doesn't have to maintain and uphold the same ethics and so they can do basically what we can't do um, when it comes to getting deals done. So, I mean, there's ways around all of that, you know, uh, you know, doing it the right way, of course, but I don't want to scare you. I don't want to get you into nothing else. Let's just leave it at that. So there's licensed professionals and then there's unlicensed professionals. Professional, the person that gets paid to do something. So licensed unlicensed and that's a decision that you can get into but okay so for now before i end this here what i'd like for you to think about for the next one is if you are going to get into real estate what is the reason you're going to get into real estate and number two what do you want to get out of real estate there's two different reasons i know it sounds the same why do you want to get into real estate and what do you want to get out of real estate? Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. I want to get into real estate. Let me take that back and I have to be specific now because now I'm specific and that's another thing. You don't know exactly or you may not know exactly what direction you're gonna to want to go into. And there's a lot of directions to go into real estate. So you still need to figure out what niche or what market you want to go into and then we can talk about you know, how about doing that there. But myself, for me, now I am an investment property uh, specialist and I invest, I, I invest in real estate. And so that's what my specialty is. That's why I got into the, the niche that I'm in. I got into it because I really enjoy investment in real estate and I'm really good at it. And what I hope to get out of it is I hope to be able to build relationships with investors that have a lot of money that don't know what the hell to do with it so I can show them how to partner up and create real estate investment trusts so that their family and the families to come will be okay. Um, real estate is big, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good thing to know about. Anybody can do it, you know, from all areas, walks of life, any shade, color, any language, any country, you know, if you have the right person in place to help and guide you, you can really make a difference. And so I am Malika Watson. Um, I am the Miami property boss. I'm also the CEO and founder of the World Biz Market. And these are some of the things that we'll be um, gearing towards in a World Biz Market. And so again, I'm gonna leave it at that. Give me some questions. If you have any questions for me, if you'd like for me to talk about or clarify a few things that I said, I know I, sometimes my mind just says shit and I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying. I have to be very careful when my language is just as bad. So if you don't like bad language, please don't come back because I'm going to fuck up a lot. And I'm sorry, but that's just who I am. I'm straightforward, straight shooter. But I want to give you the best of what I can right away without beating around the bush. All right. So now again, we're going to talk about licensed, unlicensed real estate. I want you to think about what it is, why you're getting into real estate, what you want to get out of real estate. And so that way, some of the next things that we're talking about is going to kind of gear you and line you up for making decisions and again what it is you're going for and why you want to get out of it all right malika watson check out worldbizmarket.com sign up if you haven't signed up guys it's very important please sign up um tell your friends tell your folks tell your people because um, we're going to make it a really big thing and of course let's start to get this stuff together if you need help with anything 
let us know down there. I'm not looking to train anyone. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not looking to take anyone under me. I don't have the time and I, I don't think I'll be a good uh, person to lead you because I'm so overwhelmed with what I got. If you want to get into real estate, you want to have someone who's going to be able to teach you and, and guide you. And that, unfortunately, I, that's not for me. But I can do these and I can give you my ideas and thoughts. I have no problem with doing that. And hopefully that will teach you and, and help you move in the right direction. But once you get more advanced and get to other things that we have going on, then you can welcome to, of course, join us and invest and do all the good stuff that we're going to be uh, doing at the World Biz Market and, of course, uh, Brian Orange Group. All right. I'm Malik Watson, and I hope that you're going to check out some of the next classes and give some feedback. And maybe you can send some videos and help out some of the folks that are looking to invest in real estate, learn to invest in real estate. All right. Let's do it on the next time. We'll talk to you soon.